town, those neighbors. They're having a party. And we weren't invited. Blow out all the candles, dear. Then we'll watch mad movies with the LA Connection. I'll blow them out, then everyone can have a piece of my birthday cake. Hurry up, dear. One of them is a stick of dynamite. <laughs> Scove and welcome to Mad Movies with the LA Connection. As you can see, I'm preparing for a party to celebrate tonight's movie, Night of the Living Dead. One of our party guests is Harry Medved. He's going to drop by and talk a little bit about Night of the Living Dead. And if you remember, he co authored the book, The Golden Turkey Awards, about the worst movies of all time. The original version of Night of the Living Dead is about zombies who came back from the dead to eat the living. But our version is just a wild zombie party. gas so close to the house, huh, Johnny? You bet. Well, the guests will be here soon. Ah, uh, look, Chlorine, we've had so many parties before, no one ever shows up. Why should this time be any different? But this time I invited some people. Now well, you should have decorated. Now, look at this place. You're supposed to use balloons and crepe paper, not just spray paint the cat. Well, Fluffy liked it. Yeah. Telegram. Yeah, what about this? Uh, it's a great table decoration, I, I guess. Say, uh, weren't we supposed to pick up some food? Oh, Johnny, I forgot. Oh, great. Now I gotta walk back to the store and get some, thanks to you, Cocker Spaniel Head. Yeah. All right, go ahead and tell everybody. When I get back, I'll do my Buddy Holly impressions. All right. Telegram. That's a good thing we ran out of gas in this field. Right. We're so close to the party. Hey, turn right. Turn, turn right here, and, uh, it's close enough. Okay. Uh, uh, come on, let's get our dates. Oh, Margaret, you shouldn't have worn your fur coat on such a hot day. Oh, don't be so rough. <laughs> Telegram. Oh, 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 it's always bad news. Hey, get <laughs> out your back. Oh, 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 I've seen enough movies. I should have known this would happen. Oh. Hey, don't look at my dress! Oh, 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 I'll pretend I'm not home. They'll want a tip. Oh, I'll lock the door. Oh, I should have invited Jimmy Carter. No one ever asked him to go anywhere. The number you have reached is not in service at this time, and there is no new number. If you feel you have reached this what? number in error, please check the number oh. before we... I said the number you have reached is not in service at this time. Now, will you hang up this phone? If you're not going to oh. use it properly, hang up the phone. Get away oh. from this phone. Oh, I should have told Johnny to pick up some light bulbs. It's so dark in here. Oh. Telegram. Oh, no, there's Willie Nelson and Julio Iglesias. Oh. Ah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, oh, this sunburn is killing me. Oh, ooh, ooh. Oh. I better. Oh, sorry, Fluffy. Oh, oh. This is Dwayne was Surprise! Surprise! Yeah, surprise party! Oh. Cousin Dwayne. Tony! Telegram. Oh, he'll want a tip. Watch it go! Daddy had to hitchhike the store, and we don't have any food, and we're out of ice. It's okay. It's all right. Uh, I'll order some. 
Don't go near the phone. Hello? What did I tell you I'll about? I'd like to order some ice. I... Oh, Dwayne, is that you? Yeah, hi. Oh, I thought you were Chlorine. Well, well, listen, uh, we need some ice. Well, why don't you look in the freezer? Oh, I never thought of looking in the freezer. Thanks. Why is it missing? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, ah. One of you guys shoot him. That's an old vaudeville joke. I'll get him. Ron, let's go. I've got some sausages here. Anybody want one? Um, yeah, that's kosher. Gotta get some food. Those people out there are gonna go crazy. Dwayne, don't look in there. Why, it's only a freezer. Don't look in there, Dwayne. What the hell is this? The clothes hamper was full. Oh, man. Oh. Now what? Surprise! <laughs> hey! You kids get away from the car and knock you one! Dwayne. Huh? Never mind. Dwayne. What? Never mind. Man. I guess they're getting restless. There must be something to serve them. Oh, nails! Oh, no, that's too techy. Oh, heck. These are a delicacy where I come from. Uh, Chlorine, go get a platter and serve these outside, okay? Dwayne, um, oh, I don't have a platter. Damn it, everybody's got one! <sighs> Look, we'll serve it on a bed of lettuce. Even hospital food looks good like that. Do you have a head of lettuce? Upstairs. <sighs> oh, jeez. It's gone bad. I hope you don't have a rump roast in the bedroom. Harry Medved, the author of the Golden Turkey Awards, is a leading authority on bad movies. What would you say the worst movie of all time is? It was Plan 9 from Outer Space, which is one of my favorites. This was voted as the worst movie ever made by our People's uh, Choice Awards. And it's about zombies from outer space that uh, land on Earth, and they have eight plans to take over the world, and all eight of them fail. The ninth plan succeeds, and it, in fact, inspired Night of the Living Dead, because you can see in Plan 9 from Outer Space that the zombies also smell really bad, and they smell very bad in Night of the Living Dead as well. What makes you a leading authority on bad movies? Well, I think you have to be young and crazy like me to endure this kind of punishment. It's really brutal work. And I've seen 2,000 bad movies in part or in whole. The reason I say in part is because sometimes I'd walk into a movie theater, and after the first 10 minutes, the movie looked like it was just plain good or mediocre. I'd have to walk out of the theater and ask for my money back, because it clearly was not bad enough. It was just a waste of time for me. What makes a bad movie to you? Well, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, for me, is not a bad movie. I like films that are unintentionally funny. In other words, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes is depressingly bad, but something like I Dismember Mama is wonderfully bad. It's entertainingly bad. And I think Night of the Living Dead is, in fact, a movie that some people think is a bad movie. But in actuality, it's a good movie with some very bad performances. What do you need to watch a good zombie movie? Well, I think one thing that I would recommend is if they get some popcorn or some finger food um, while watching the movie, and then they can identify a little bit more with the zombies as they're munching away on the screen. They can munch away at home. Kent, I gotta go right now because I've got a date. Wait a minute, where are you going, Harry? Uh, I thought you were gonna stay. I've got some, a beautiful blonde zombie here for you. Well, I took a look at some of the beautiful blonde zombies that you had in store, and they're not so beautiful. Do I still get my, my gift you were gonna give me? Oh, sure. Here. Uh. Now, this is a hero from a bad movie. This is Godzilla, and uh, Godzilla will wave goodbye and hope you enjoy the party. Does he talk? Uh, no. Thanks a lot, Harry. I'm a little disappointed you're going to leave now, yeah, well, but, uh... Kent, next time. Get some better zombies next time. A really lousy party. This has been Harry Medved, and now back to the movie. Hey, you, Zebra Brain, you're sitting on my lunch. Now get up and go to the deli across the way and get me another one. I had two pints of coleslaw in that bag. Say, Darren, you seem a little tense today. <laughs> yeah, so what? What of it? Well, here, have a cup of coffee. Ah, gee, thanks, Earl. You're what the expression swell pal's all about. I owe you one. Where can I throw this away? First thing we gotta do is get rid of this here table. If they don't see a table, they won't expect to eat. 
Yeah. Well, need more room for the mud wrestling tub. Ah, oh, you know something, Chlorine? Mm -hmm. This table has better legs than you do. Ah. Oh, yeah. But can it cha-cha? Uh, why don't you give me a hand, Chlorine? Uh, say, I just thought of something. We could take this table, build it into a raft, and sail to the Caribbean. This used to be my mom's wedding dress. Honey, look better on the table. Uh, 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 help me with this uh, table. Uh, 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 uh. What'd you say? Uh, uh, don't bother yourself, honky. Oh, Dwayne, this party just... It's not the way I planned it. I don't feel prepared. I got the wrong clothes, and I just think it's not the Would you stop that awful whining? <laughs> well, this is my party, and I'll whine if I want to. Whine if I want to. You would whine, too, if this were happening to you, Dwayne. Hear more people coming all the time. It is so hot in here. No food. There they are now. We're here. Pity the fool who messes with me. Surprise! It's not a surprise. Hey, it hey, is a surprise. Hey, give them some sticks. They, they love sticks. Here, uh, take these and share them. But uh, don't give one to Grandma. You know what she does with them. Stay away from my car. I've got to use the bathroom. Oh, wait a minute. Huh? My girlfriend's still in there. Uh, Christina, come on. I can't believe these people. What the heck? Come on. Well, she took her time. I hope she washed her hands. She does. Sometimes. I gotta get out of here. Phew! Man, it stinks yeah. in here. When well, you gotta get a regular lock on this door? Phew wee! Hey. Hey, hey, don't use all the toilet paper. Uh, uh, I need it too. Hey, what's going on? You got somebody in there with you? Hey, you save that kinky stuff for your own home. Oh, oh, your wife? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry I slammed that toilet seat on your forehead, but you deserved it, Lou. Uh, honey, you having a good time? Not really. I have an idea. Let's play a wild party game. Um, hide and seek? I'll hide. All right. Hey, uh, we're playing hide-and-seek. Oh, boy, wait for me. I haven't played that in a long... Damn, this lock. Oh, gosh. Hey, uh, I was great as I was a kid. Uh, uh, let's see. Where should I hide? Hmm. One, oh, two... You better hide. Eighteen... Four... I can tell this is your first time. Six, I'll hide in the trash. One, I have a whole movie I was planning to show, but uh, since nobody showed up, I'll just show it to you guys. It was sent in by Betty and Cliff Bruton of Dallas, Texas, and it's a good one. Eager young would-be magicians are taken by supersonic transport to the famous School of Magic, where they are instructed in the use of novelty gimmicks, such as a giant hand buzzer that squirts milk. If you want to pull a bunny out of your hat, you have to be able to think like one. Moves like this require agility and strength. That's why the youngest students start by pulling full-grown adults across the lawn. Next, the amazing disappearing cake trick. It's not as easy as it looks, but by subtle finesse and total concentration, the skillful professional magician is able to perform the seemingly impossible. More difficult tricks include how to create an earthquake. Only the most advanced students learn how to levitate an apple by keeping your mouth open, finally causing it to go into orbit around the magician's head. Newcomers must be careful, however, not to fall under their own spells. And so, their training complete, the magicians depart with their hands on their heads to hold in all their new knowledge. I found the cat's saucer in the trash. All the milk was gone. Hmm. Uncle Lou drank it. There were fur balls everywhere. Ooh. Hmm. Want a dish of water? But, Doug, I found your shorts in the car. Oh. Uh, the elastic is shot in these things. How long are we going to have to stay here? We've only been here an hour. We can't just get up and leave. Well, your Uncle Lou is threatening to show those horrible vacation slides. 
All right, all right. I'm a terrible date. It's the worst time you've ever had, is that right? Well, yes. Oh, Dwayne, this just isn't turning out right at all. And Uncle Lewis setting up his slide projector, and I don't know how to stop him. I do. Lou! Come in here! I got something to show you! Uh, listen, you lousy little hostess. Those are award-winning slides. What? All right, I lied. Oh, Lou. You've shown those slides a hundred times, and there aren't even any pictures of me in them. Now, you go decorate something, Lou. Let's watch F Troop. I can't. King Dwayne says I have uh, to go decorate. Oh. Hmm. Giant meteor headed towards Earth. But first, F Troop. Well, I can always make the place look nice by setting up some tiki torches. Oops. Oh, boy. Uh, try another one. Uh, look out below. Uh-oh. Say, hey, uh, hey, Frank, uh, while you're down there, why don't you just move it on over to the patio, will ya? Okay, Lou, I will. Thanks a lot. Uh, that Frank's something else, I did. Surprise! What? What? Surprise! For a dip in the tube. I want to drink. Make me a zombie. Oh, oh. oh sorry. S sorry, Christina. Say, uh, I was wondering if uh, maybe I could get a kiss. <laughs> you can tell this is your first time. Oh, delicious ribs. Best finger sandwiches I ever had. Oh, I simply must get the recipe. This just in. Due to the success of Johnny and Corrine's party, guests have agreed to meet there same time tomorrow. They can't do this to me. I'll have to buy more food. I have nothing to wear. Huh? Gee, this party turned out to be a real bomb. And I made this wonderful finger bowl. Let's watch some coming attractions. Zombies. Here, hold this. Surprise! Wipe your feet! 
Why don't you clean your porch or something? There's nothing worse than a messy zombie. See you next time. <laughs>